Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the um, Solihull Six, Sixth Form College um, well, uh, information evening. Sorry, we just got a bit of a problem with feedback uh, with the two computers there. If you could just, um, could you just indicate in the chat and just let us know that you can, uh, that you can hear me, please. Um, that would be really useful and we'll, we'll make a start in a minute. This is a session for uh, really for media courses at the college. So I'm going to be talking about A level media studies, um, the BTEC creative media course and A level film studies. OK, so if you're interested in any of those three courses, then uh, you've come to the right place. So if you are able to, to hear, if you could just you, you can type up questions um, as we go along and we'll 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 try our best to um, answer those questions. But if you could just if you can hear me, if you could just let um, just let me know in the chat. Volume, just kind of volume do my video. Do what sorry? Because it, it did say something about mute video if you want yeah they to can hear you brilliant oh. okay good that's good right well thanks for your patience so um we're going to talk i'm going to talk to you um as i say about the three courses that we offer um a level media a level film and and, and a level btech now one of the one of the questions that everyone always wants to ask is about the combination of courses and can you do both courses and all three courses and stuff like that so just to get that out of the way first of all um it's perfectly possible for you to do a level media studies and a level film studies that's absolutely fine we get lots of students every year that um that take those courses. They're, they're a good combination. They complement each other really well. They go together really well. Um, if you choose to do the creative media course, the BTEC course, that course is the equivalent of two A levels. And um, so you would do that with one other A level. It's, it's OK to do that with film studies, but obviously you can't do that with media studies because our, our, our view would be that, you know, that's a little bit too similar really so you can do the btec creative media uh, course with film studies but you can't do it with media studies um, so you'd have to do it with an a level like english or drama quite a few of our students do it with art or graphics okay as it says there on the first slide if you've got any questions just put them in the chat box and we'll try um we'll try our best to um give you some answers by the end of the session okay so talking about A-level media studies, first of all, first thing to say about that course, um, and it's the case for all of our courses, it doesn't matter if you haven't done A-level media studies at school. I'm sure some of you are doing A-level um, GCSE media studies rather, but it doesn't matter if you haven't. It's not a course that we um, ask you to have done at GCSE level because we know lot, um, some people, you know, some schools don't offer the course. So we kind of start from scratch. We won't necessarily assume any prior knowledge or any skills in video editing or anything like that. Now, the course is is based around the study of the mass media. And as you can see there, there's a great list of the kinds of media text that you'll study on the course, newspapers, radio, TV, advertising, online media. We look at music and music videos. We look at the magazine industry and we look at film as well. So you will really cover the whole broad range of media courses and across the bottom uh, those are the if you like the theory areas that we look at those texts from okay so media language we look at how media texts are constructed so how are films and magazines put together what kinds of you know, fonts do magazine producers use, what kind of camera shots and camera angles are, are used, all those kinds of things. So with media language, you'll learn a, um, a, a, a set of terms with the, which you can describe how media texts work. We also look at audiences, OK, and for audiences, we're interested in two things. We're interested in how media producers target specific audiences. So what um, steps do 
the media producers take to to target audiences. So the first um, area that we look at there, newspapers. Obviously, there's a, a bit of a crisis in the newspaper industry at the moment. Newspaper sales are kind of falling quite rapidly. So what 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 are what are media producers doing to kind of address that? We look at media institutions and media institutions really looks at the issues of who owns the media. OK, well, who are the individuals that own and control the media? Um, what's the link between the kind of person that owns a media text and the kind of messages that that media text puts out. OK, so there's a lot of stuff in the news at the moment about the future of the BBC and changes being made to the BBC and will the license fee be scrapped and all the rest of it. Those are some of the kind of things that we would discuss in media institutions. Representation looks at how the media represent the world. So we would look at how gender, ethnicity, social class, all of those kinds of areas are um, covered in the media text that we look at. And media contexts really places the media text that we cover um, in their historical and social and political context. So you've got a kind of perspective to, to cover them from. OK. Yeah, um, just in terms of the course structure, 70% of the grades, 70% uh, of the grade comes from exams and there's two papers that you'll cover for that. What's important to realise with A-level media studies is that 30% of the marks are for coursework, non-exam assessment, OK? And I'll give you some idea about what we've got for the coursework uh, in a minute, OK? Just making a few adjustments. OK, so 30% of the course is coursework, 70% of the course is exams, and that's quite an important thing to, to take into account when you're choosing whether to do the course or not. You can see some of the examples of the set products that we look at there, the newspapers we look at, the Times and the Daily Mirror, um, we look at the film Black Panther and we also look at uh, Ken Loach, British film, I, Daniel Blake. We look at a number of music videos. We look at Beyonce's Formation and Riptide by Vance Joy. And we do look at video games as well. You can probably see an advert there for Assassin's Creed, uh, the video games franchise. So we look at that. So really quite a broad number of texts encompassing, you know, websites, social media, traditional newspapers, music videos, all those kinds of things. Um, in terms of the coursework, just briefly, um, you make individually a music video. OK, your brief is to choose a song and you have to come up with a new artist. OK, you obviously using an, use an existing track but you um, have to come up with a new artist and your job is to promote that artist through a music video, which you'll film. Um, Uh, you've also got to produce um, the front page and a double page spread for a magazine article. So you're using both audiovisual and print materials for that. Um, there's some examples of some student work there. Um, you know, you've got some uh, really good examples of um, student um, magazine covers and double page uh, articles that they've produced. Um, and obviously, if you come to when you come to the Welcome to College Day later on in the year, we'll be able to show you some examples of music videos. Um, as far as the way we work goes in media and, and, and film in, in all of our course, courses, really, um, you know, you have a lot of kind of traditional teaching where we're giving you information um, and sharing knowledge with you where we might be using PowerPoint, illustrated PowerPoint presentations. You'll have handouts to fill in. Um, the college uses key assessments every half term or so that you complete in exam conditions um, to check progress. There is a lot of emphasis in the course on group work and discussion. You know, it's not a, a kind of course where there are set answers as such. It's the sort of course which is built around discussion. OK, 
you know, there's not a set answer to to many of the questions that that, that we set. It's your job to 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 state an argument and to provide as much evidence as you can to support those points. So that's obviously supported by class discussions and independent study as well. You'll be working for about five hours a week for each of your A level subjects on independent study. And when you're working on your coursework, that could be filming or editing in your own time or something to support your coursework. Um, we're quite well resourced, OK, as a as a department. Um, we've got some excellent, I'm sure some of you came to the open day and saw this. We've got an excellent Mac suite that you'll be using. We've got some really good digital cameras. We've got lighting facilities. We've got studio facilities for you to film your music video in and take your photos and things. Um, and we've also got our um, learning resource Moodle where we put all the resources that students will need for their theory work. And if you want to have a look at some other kind of um, stuff you'll be looking at for A-level media studies, uh, we follow the EDUCAS uh, syllabus. The EDUCAS A-level media syllabus is very good. I mean, you can just go on there and you'll see a lot of examples of the kind of activities that we cover in class. Um, course requirements. Um, we don't ask, as I said earlier, for any specific course requirements, so we don't ask for any specific GCSEs. We don't ask for GCSE media studies. We ask for the general college entry requirements, so you would need to have two GCSEs at grade six or above and three further GCSEs at grade four and above. So three of your GCSEs will need to be at least a four, two will need to be at least a six, and you must have as part of that a grade four in English language and a grade four in maths. And that's the same um, for all of the courses. That's the same for uh, the A-level film course and for the BTEC course. OK, creative digital media production. This is a BTEC course, so it's worth two A-levels. So if you take that course, a substantial amount of your time will be given over to media. So you need to really make sure that you're interested in media and you're interested in film and television production uh, before deciding to take that course. It's the equivalent of two A-levels um, and it really does give you a huge range of practical opportunities to develop skills in writing, uh, filming, editing, sound production, in all those kind of film and TV um, production areas. OK, you'll work individually and as part of a team to produce your own media texts. Um, as I say, we've got quite a lot of uh, really effective software and hardware to support you. You'll be using Adobe Creative Suite. You'll be using Photoshop, InDesign, Premiere. You'll be using the Macs. We've got some really good um, sort of facilities and hardware to help you make your films. And we have got our own uh, technician who's available both in lessons and if you want to come into the department to work independently to support you with all your hardware and software needs. And as you know, a lot of the time on 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 the BTEC course in particular will be will be involved with coursework. You know, it's really good that you've got that technical support so that you can come into the Mac suite independently in your own time to help them um, to to work on your texts. OK, now the mandatory units for the course give you a real flavour of what the course is like. This is the BTEC course. You've got one course, uh, one unit in digital media skills where we teach you the skills that you'll need to make the various texts that you have to make. There's a, a, a unit in media enterprise which involves you coming up with kind of ideas and pitching ideas for media texts. Um, you then have a unit on film production and you have to produce your own fiction film. And there's another unit as well called responding to a commission, which again is an industry type unit where you're given a specific commission, you know, a specific brief, and your job is to produce the text that's required of that brief. And then we've got some optional units as well, and you can see they all link to TV and film production. Multi-camera techniques, storyboarding for digital tech, digital media, single camera techniques, film editing, script writing, sound editing. So the whole range of skills that you need in order to be um, a, a, a TV or a film producer, you'll get access to on this course. And two of those units are externally assessed. So most, the majority of the assessment is done 
internally, but there are two units where you'll work in kind of controlled conditions, not necessarily a traditional exam, but you will be working in controlled conditions and they're sent off and assessed, um, um, assessed externally. OK, again, the entry uh, requirements are the college's standard entry requirements. So if you're interested in taking BTEC Media, but you've never used Photoshop, or well, don't worry about it. You know, that's not a problem at all. We will provide you with all the training that you need on the course. OK, um, as, a, as I said there, yeah, um, you um, you have to take that BTEC with another A level. OK or another BTEC national certificate. So we do in, in our department uh, a, a single BTEC IT course. You could take um, the BTEC media A level with that single BTEC IT course or you want it, or if you want it, or you could take it with A level computer science or A level film studies or, or another A level, but it will be part of a mixed program. And I've just listed for you there some of the kind of career areas that students go on to. It, fairly obvious areas, journalism, film production, marketing, sales and advertising, all these kinds of things, all these kinds of, all, 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 all these are areas where the skills that we develop in our students are valued, okay? And, uh, you know, they're areas that students often go on to find careers in. OK, now just finish off just the, 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 the final one, film studies. Um, obviously, film studies is, is, is not dissimilar to media studies in, in many ways. It's theoretical and practical, but you focus exclusively on film. So it's a much more focused uh, course than the media studies course. The media studies course is a broader course. Film studies focuses specifically on film. OK. In terms of um, why study film with us, as I've said to you before, we, we, we are a specialist area. You know, we only teach media and film courses, you know, so we, we, we've we got some very experienced teachers and practic practitioners. Um, we're very well equipped for practical work. I've told you all about all the resources and things we've got. You would be using those if you took A-level film studies, you know, alongside the creative media and the um, A-level media students and film study students also take advantage of the technician that we've got to support them with their work. As far as the course structure goes, as you, as you could imagine, it's a pretty kind of broad, pretty thorough uh, look at a range of different films. We look at American films, so there's two uh, units about American film. We look at Hollywood 1930 to 1990. So we look at what's known as the classic studio uh, kind of system within within Hollywood. We look at American film since 2005. And for that, we look at two films, uh, La La Land, and we also look at uh, a film called Winter's Bone. We also look at British film. So there's a unit called British film since 1995. And again, we compare British films with American films in terms of funding, style and content and things. Um, there's a unit on global film and for that we're looking at two films this year, a German film called Victoria, which is a really interesting film. Whole film, uh, you know, two hours filmed in one take, so it's a really interesting film. And we look at a Brazilian film called City of God. We look at documentary film as well and we look at some of the differences and similarities between documentary film and what we might call fiction film and the set text for that one is uh, Amy, the film about Amy Winehouse um, directed by Asif Kapadia and two other units, um, silent cinema, we go right back to the early days of film and we look at silent film and we look at the comic films of Buster Keaton and for section D, which is experimental films, where you're asked to look at films that, you know, challenged some of the assumptions about cinema, we look at Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction. So quite a broad range of films there. And as you can see, there's either one or two films that you study for each specialist area. Um, and in the exam, you'll talk about the style of those films, the messages of those films all the, and the importance of the, the director, all those kinds of things. And for film studies as well, there is a 30% coursework element, the same as media. 
And for the coursework element of uh, film studies, you have the option if you wish to make a short film between five and seven minutes and the exam board give you a brief and your job is to produce a film that um, follows that brief or you can write a script, a screenplay. Again, you would do that following the brief given by the exam board and you would write a screenplay for a short film between five and seven minutes. If you choose to produce the screenplay for the short film, you have to also provide a digital storyboard, OK, a photo storyboard for a key section of the screenplay. So again, a nice mixture of analysing films in detail in the classroom um, and then putting into practice what you've learned and making your own films. The assessment, as I've just said there, 30% coursework, 70% exam. The exam board, similar to media, is EDUCAS. And if you go onto the EDUCAS A-level film studies site, there's some really, really um, excellent resources. It will give you a really good flavour of the course if at any stage you want to have a look at what the course content is like. And the entry requirements, um, you know, as I say, are standard. Again, you don't need to have done film studies. Uh, or media studies. You know, there's a lot of new terminology that you need to cover on the film course, but we start from scratch. We assume that you haven't done any study and we'll, 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 we'll get you up to speed on that. And, and the same for the practical work. You know, we won't expect you to come in being able to use a camera or being able to edit in Adobe Premiere. We'll teach you all of that during the two years of the course. OK, now um, on the course we uh, on in the college, we do uh, have enrichment courses. These are courses that you are encouraged to take up uh, to complement your A-level or your BTEC programme. Um, as far as enrichment goes in media, there are quite a lot of courses that, that, that would really work well. I mean, this year, for instance, there is actually a course on film editing, video editing that some of the media and film students have been involved with. We've got courses in uh, creative writing that are on offer. We've got what we call a visual arts academy, which some students are interested in. And as I'm sure you know, we do cover um, the EPQ course, which is an um, uh, 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 opportunity for students to carry out uh, independent research and get an, an A-level for it. And a lot of students have, have, have taken that with a kind of film focus. So they've been particularly interested in um, a a film emphasis for that. So there are lots of enrichment links that you could use. Again, careers and progression, pretty much the same as what you would expect for film studies. Lots of our students go into video production, film production. Some of them have done script writing or creative writing courses, OK, or, you know, worked in general media areas like journalism or graphic design. OK. Well, that's taken up quite a bit of your time, but the, the three quite large courses. Just to recap, you can do media and film A level together. Um, if you do the BTEC, you can do film, but you wouldn't be able to do uh, media. Generally speaking, people tend to do film media courses, you know, with, um, with sort of history, art, English literature, those kinds of courses. A certain number of students do them with social studies courses, so they might do them alongside psychology or sociology or business or something like that. And we do get some students that do them alongside science subjects, math subjects. So really, you know, a pretty broad range. OK, I don't think there's any subject film and media wouldn't go with and, and, and you probably find if you looked at the combinations that our students do at the moment, there's probably someone choosing every course. So there's no, you know, often people say, what's a good course to, to, to go alongside it? Well, there isn't any course you can't really do alongside it. Most people do it alongside art subjects or social science subjects, but not everybody does that. OK. So if you've got any questions, you can just put them in the in the chat and we'll try our best to um, answer you. As I said earlier, there is a welcome to college um, session. They, 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 they take place in June, OK? And um, we'll, you, you'll, you'll have a, a series of taster lessons there. And obviously, if film is a new subject for you, which I imagine for most people it will be, or media, we'll give you a flavour of the course in those sessions, OK? So there's you know, plenty of opportunity to 
find out what you've uh, signed up for before the courses begin in September. Trying to type up some answers for you. Just a reminder if you do the BTEC, you've got to do one other course with it. Okay, so you'd have to think of another A level. As I said earlier, there's quite a range of courses that students use, or you, you could choose a, a, a single BTEC course to do alongside it, and you could choose a single BTEC course to go alongside A level film and media. You know, you could do A-level film, A-level media and the single um, single award BTEC IT course, for instance, that's that, that that's a, an, an option that some people have taken. Yes, yeah, some interesting questions there about um, how we work. Um, obviously, one of the things with with film and media, as I said earlier, is all your films and videos and things you will be doing in college. So, you know, it, you will be, although you won't have all your lessons timetabled, you will be expected to spend a certain amount of time during the coursework period um, in in the, the Mac room, working on your editing, on your video editing, either for your music video or for your film. And we'll show you some examples if and when you come to the um, Welcome to College Day. You know, our students produce some fantastic um, music videos and some fantastic films. We'll, we'll make sure you get to see them during the Welcome to College Day. OK. So we're sort of running out of time now, and I'm sure you've all got to go on to um, another talk. So thanks very much for listening. If you've got any further questions, do email us. Just send a general email to the college, you know, for the attention of media studies or film studies. Um, it will it, get passed on. Uh, it will get passed on to us. Um, thanks very much for listening and hopefully see um, as many of as possible of you um, in Welcome to College in June and then in September. Thank you very much. Bye everyone.